So I found out that I have some red worms. So interceptor, flavored tabs, large dog, 51 to 100 pounds, supposed to treat 400 gallons. So I cut the pill in half, crushed it up, I'm gonna add some tank water and then put it in my return pump in my sump to make sure that it gets all over the tank. Let me uh, get that in the water and uh, I will talk a little bit more about red bugs. All right, so just found a bunch of little orange spots all over my acros. And here they look like little black spots, but if you can kind of see them climbing around, doesn't look like too many, but if I could show you on this bonsai, I don't think I can get close enough. Oh yeah, look at look at all those little orange spots all over that thing. These things are everywhere. So I started noticing on this one, it was so bad that they look like almost like orange polyps and I was like, man, that thing's starting to open up and look really nice. And then as I started looking and I could see them climbing around, I was like, that can't be good. So knowing a little bit about red bugs already or kind of being warned about red bugs, I did a quick Google search and sure enough, Acropora eating red bugs. So if you've been watching my other videos, you know that I just recently switched um, to a Acropora, you know, kind of um, heavy tank, got rid of a lot of the other SPS corals that I have. So I need to do something about it. So Interceptor, dog heartworm medication is pretty much the only thing people are saying will kill these things. So if you want to find out about red bugs, Acropora eating red bugs, you can do a quick Google search and you're going to find a bunch of conflicting information. Put it in your tank for an hour, do a 50% water change, put it in your tank for six hours, um, do a water change, put it in your tank for 12 hours, just add carbon. Turn off your protein skimmer, like lots and lots of different conflicting information. So, I know uh, a couple people who work at uh, fish stores and, you know, been in this hobby for a while. And they said that they've had red bugs before. And this is what they did. So, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to introduce a large pill, half of a large pill, into my sump where the return pump is so that it will spray all over my tank. I'm going to leave it in there for 24 hours and then I'm going to introduce carbon. I'm going to turn off my protein skimmer just like everybody else is saying so that way I can um, you know make sure it's just not getting skimmed out and then after 24 hours I'll, I'll hook my uh, skimmer back up I will run carbon and probably do a small water change, just a normal water change of 30 gallons or so. And I'm going to do that for three consecutive weeks so um, I can make sure that any eggs that are on there after they hatch get killed. So you do it for one day, wait about seven days, do it another day, wait seven days, and then do it a third time. That way you're ensuring that all the little red bugs are um, um, being eaten. So, here is that hardware medicine, that powder. 
and some warm water dissolved best I can get it and I'm going to introduce it into my return pump like I said so here's the return pump dump it right in there so it's getting all nice and sucked up and it's going to go directly into the tank That will then get sprayed through my returns and hopefully get covered everywhere. Word of caution is this stuff is not supposed to be good for invertebrates. So my cleaner shrimp, my hermits that I have kind of running around are kind of at risk. The person that... Um, I know that said that they did this treatment, left their um, shrimp and hermit crabs in there, and there was no uh, problems. So, you know, I'm taking that risk. Also, a lot of the videos that I found on red bugs um, and interceptor treatments didn't do really follow up or kind of talk about, um, you know, how it worked. So, um, from what I found anyway. So, you know, stay tuned. I will do a follow-up. I'll tell you exactly what's going on, exactly what I'm seeing from this. And uh, hopefully, you know, this takes care of it. I think uh, with the three-week treatment, it should um, work, work pretty well. So stay tuned. Uh, until the next video, 